Hi everyone, I wanted to review the arcs and chords assessment from last week. So uh, most people did very well on this, uh, but I did want to talk about a couple of things. So uh, in number one here, uh, we're asked to find EF, and there are really two key things here that I wanted you to think about. First, because OM and ON are congruent, that means that these two chords, DC and EF, are equidistant from the center, and we know that equidistant chords from the center in a circle are congruent. So we know that DC is congruent to EF. Also, a radius drawn from the center to a chord is perpendicular to the chord if and only if it bisects it. Now, several people brought up the issue that, well, this isn't really a radius, but which is a reasonable thing to think. But if you extend it, of course, it's a radius. And now you can invoke that theorem. So now we know that EF is bisected. And if CM is 6, this is 12, and then this whole thing is 12. Uh, with number 2, the key was really to get this good picture, the equilateral triangle, and then to draw the radii from O to the vertices. Now, pull one of these triangles out, like OCB. This is an isosceles triangle, uh, because these are both radii, right? Uh, and this is equilateral, so this is since all three of these triangles are congruent to each other, these angles are congruent. In an equilateral triangle, this is 60 degrees, so these are 30 degrees. And that means if you drop this altitude right here, you get a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. In a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, if the hypotenuse is 6, this side opposite the 30 degree angle is 3, and then this length is 3 root 3, which makes the side of the triangle 6 root 3 and the perimeter then 18 root 3. In this last problem here, you're trying to find the measure of an arc given this uh, that the radius is 10 and the chord is 12. Uh, again, this is an isosceles triangle problem. Pull it out, uh, drop the altitude. These are 6, so this is now a 6, 8, 10 triangle. You want to find the measure of the arc, which is equal to the measure of the central angle. We can write an equation here. The tan of theta is 6 over 8. And so uh, we calculate that and then just double that. So arc tan, uh, theta is the arc tan of 6 over 8. And then the measure of our angle here, let's call it O, the measure of angle O is going to be 2 theta because these two angles are congruent. Uh, lastly, the bonus, people had uh, you know good answers for this, um, but it's actually really easy if you think about it in the right way. Uh, a regular n-gon inscribed in a circle is made up of a bunch of congruent chords. All the sides are congruent. And in a circle, congruent chords determine congruent arcs. So all of the arcs are congruent. The entire circle is 360 degrees. There are n arcs determined by the n congruent uh, chords, and so each of them has measure 360 degrees over n.